Okay, well, this is part two of the uh, video, which is all rhubarb, really. I thought I'd start on that. This is a plum tree, Victoria plum. Victoria's not doing too well at the moment. There's a few plums on it. The opal down the bottom's doing much better. This is my uh, water storage device. Uh, two tons of water there. Which basically, even though we've um, only been halfway, uh, well, whew, coming up to halfway through this year, uh, it's uh, uh, we've used about a quarter of a ton of that already. Okay, well, uh, you might notice the light has changed. Well, it's the next day. There you go. The wonders of uh, photography. That's okay, Steven Spielberg. Uh, your job's safe with me. Um, we've got a couple of uh, couple of other bushes up here. Um, apples, cooking apples, Braemar, and uh, Cox's Pippin down the bottom. So there it is. Apart from my new acquisition, which was the uh, well, it's not actually new person's house that didn't want it anymore, the greenhouse, which uh, we've adapted the uh, air pot idea, no, auto pot, sorry Mr. Auto Pot, um, we're trying them out in here, they're basically connected up to that reservoir of water outside, and uh, that's many, I've got a horrible feeling she might have caught something there. I might have to stop this video in a minute, probably too late though. Um, yeah, so this is the auto pot arrangement. Um, basically they're little tiny reservoirs, I'm sure you can go on the line and look up auto pot and they'll give you all the information about them. Um, so, there's tomatoes again. I like tomatoes, it's just as well, isn't it? Aubergines, a different variety, apparently I read somewhere you're not meant to keep the same uh, aubergines together. Again, I've only been doing this gardening business for a couple of years, so we've got a long lot of learning to do. Um, and uh, the old drugs boys with all their auto pots and hydroponics and whatever, and YouTube uh, knowledge has helped me along the way to uh, um, getting started in a in a big bigger way than probably normal not that I'm into any uh, other drug scene you can keep that I'm afraid however certainly uh, fresh veg is uh, order of the day whether it's sustainable or you can actually grow enough to actually live on I don't know need a bigger garden okay well that's about it that's part two of um, my May Bank holiday, end of May, 27th, I think, believe it is today. Um, it was the 26th yesterday when I did part one, but part two didn't really come out that well. Um, if you want to know about how I do did my um, my own little hydroponic thing there with uh, that, I'm sure there's plenty of documentation online, but if you're showing interest, I'm probably going to make up a couple more because I quite like them. They're easy to maintain. Um, I'll leave you with a fantastic view that I get when I'm having a nice cup of coffee and uh, sitting down on a even better day than today sometimes. I found a photograph the other day which is quite interesting. Um, somebody stood just about here. Hang on, we'll get to the exact spot. Uh, 100 years ago and took that photograph and uh, Obviously this is still, I was able to plot exactly where they stood um, by comparing, obviously, the view. Um, it wasn't panoramic like I've just done then. But, um, there you go. It's, uh, I can't see through the viewfinder, but up past 12, I suppose. On a windy, but meant to be raining, 27th of May. Marvellous, isn't it? I told we were going to get rain. Met office only 10 miles away. Can't even get that right. Good 
God, hein? Have fun.